Here we're looking at substitution. Substitution means putting a number into a formula or an expression in place of a letter. So in the examples here, we're going to be substituting 3 in for A and 4 in for B. So wherever we have A, we're going to change it to 3. And wherever we have B, we're going to change it to 4. So the first question says, find the value of 2A. 2A means 2 times A. And we're changing A to 3. So we're going to have 2 times 3. And 2, 3 is a 6. Question 2, A plus B. So we're changing A into 3. And B into 4. So we've got 3 plus 4 which is 7. 3 is a squared. So that becomes 3 squared, which is equal to 9. And 5a minus 2b. So 5a means 5 times a. So I'm going to write that as a bracket. 5 times 3 minus 2 times b, and b is 4. So 5 times 3 minus 2 times 4. 5 times 3 is 15. And 2 times 4 is 8. So we've got 15 take away 8, which is 7. Okay, some questions for you to try. So in these questions, we're going to use A is 5 and B is 2. So we're going to substitute A 5 in for A and 2 in for B. So give them a go. So in the first question, we've got 4A. So that means 4 times A. And A is 5. So it's 4 times 5, which is 20. Question 2. A minus B. We're changing A into 5. And B into 2. So it's 5 minus 2, which is 3. Question 3, a squared. So a is 5. So it's 5 squared, and that's 25. And question 4, 6a. So 6 times 5 minus 5b. So 5 times 2. 6 times 5 is 30. 5 times 2 is 10. So we've got 30 minus 10, and that is 20. Another set of questions. This time we've got a negative number. But apart from that, we're doing the same thing. So we've got A as 8, and B as negative 4. So wherever we've got A, we're changing it to 8. And wherever we've got B, we're changing it into negative 4. So the first one, 2A minus 7. So 2 times 8 minus 7. 2 eights are 16, so it's 16 minus 7, and that is 9. The second one, 3A plus B. So 3 times 8 plus a negative 4. So 3 eighths are 24, and we're plussing a negative 4, that's the same as taking away 4. So 24 take away 4 is 20. Question 3, 2AB, 2 times A times B. So 2 times 8 times negative 4. 2 times 8 is 16. So it's 16 times negative 4. A positive times a negative is going to be negative. And to multiply by 4, I'm going to double and double again. So double 16 is 32. And double 32 is 64. So the answer is negative 64. And question 4. 5 times A minus B. We're going to do the bracket first. 
So it's going to be 5 times 8 take away negative 4. So we're going to do 8 take away negative 4 first. When we take away a negative, we go up, we add. So 8 take away negative 4 is the same as 8 plus 4, which is 12. So we've got 5 times 12, and that is 60. And some for you to try. So this time we've, we're changing a into negative 5 and b into 9. We're substituting negative 5 in for a and substituting 9 in for b. Give them a go. Question 1, we've got 4b plus 1. That's 4 times b. So 4 times 9 plus 1. 4 9s are 36. 36 plus 1 is 37. Question 2, a minus b. So a is negative 5 and b is 9. So negative 5 minus 9. Negative 5 down 9 goes to negative 14. Question 3, a, b. So a times b. So negative 5 times 9. A negative times a positive is negative, and 5 times 9 is 45. And question 4, it's a times b plus 2. So it's negative 5 times 9 plus 2. We do the bracket first, so 9 plus 2 is 11. So negative 5 times 11 a negative times a positive is negative, and 5 11s are 55. And the last example, this time we've got A, B, and C. So we're substituting 2 in for A, negative 10 in for B, and negative 7 in for C. So the first one is A, B, C. That means A times B times C. So it's 2 times negative 10 times negative 7. So 2 times negative 10 is negative 20. So it's negative 20 times negative 7. A negative times a negative is positive. And 20 times 7 will be 140. Question 2, 2a two plus 3b. So 2 times a, 2 twos, plus 3 times b, 3 negative 10s. 2 twos are 4, 3 negative 10s are negative 30. So it's 4 plus negative 30. That's the same as saying 4 take away 30. So that's negative 26. Question 3 is B minus C. So it's negative 10 take away a negative 7. When we take away a negative, we go up. So it's negative 10. It's the same as negative 10 plus 7. So negative 10 plus 7 is negative 3. And question 4, B squared minus 4AC. So we've got negative 10 squared minus 4 times 2 times negative 7. So negative 10 squared, so negative 10 times negative 10 is positive 100. And it's minus 4 times, so 2 times negative 7, 2 negative 7 is a negative 14. Negative 4 times negative 14. A negative times a negative is positive. And to multiply by 4, we can double and double again. So 2 14s are 28. Double 28 is 56. So 100 plus 56 is 156. Okay, some for you to try.
So give these a go. The first one, A times B times C. So negative 5 times 9 times 6. Negative 5 times 9 is negative 45. So negative 45 times 6. So the answer is going to be negative. And 6 fives are 30. 6 fours are 24. Plus on the 3. So 270. So it's negative 270. Question two, C minus two A, a C is six, and we're taking away two A's, so two negative fives. Two, negative two times negative five is a positive 10. So it's gonna be the same as six plus 10, which is 16. Question three, two A squared plus B, so 2 times a squared, 2 times negative 5 squared, plus a 9. So let's do negative 5 squared first. That's 25. So we've got 2 25s plus a 9. 2 25s are 50. So 50 plus 9 is 59. And C times A plus B. So it's 6 times negative 5 plus 9. So we'll do the bracket first. Negative 5 plus 9 is 4. So it's 6 times 4, which is 24. And to finish up, we have... One set of questions, so A is 5, B is negative 2, and C is negative 4. So we're substituting 5 in for A, negative 2 in for B, and negative 4 in for C in these six expressions. So give them a go. I'm going to start with 2B. So B is negative 2, so it's 2 negative 2s which is equal to negative 4. BC plus 10. BC means B times C. So it's negative 2 times negative 4 plus 10. Negative times a negative is positive. 2 4s are 8, so it's 8 plus 10, which is 18. A times B plus 6. So it's 5 times negative 2 plus 6. We do the bracket first. Negative 2 plus 6 is 4. So it's 5 4s, which are 20. C minus 5 squared. C is negative 4. So it's negative 4 minus 5 squared. Negative 4 minus 5 is negative 9. And negative 9 squared. So negative 9 times negative 9 is positive 81. A plus B plus C. So 5 plus negative 2 plus negative 4. So this is the same as 5 minus 2 minus 4. 5 minus 2 is 3. 3 minus 4 is negative 1. And a b squared, so a times b squared, 5 times negative 2 squared. Negative 2 squared is positive 4, so it's 5 times 4, which is 20.